Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. This week I'm going to show you something quick and simple how to make the Divi contact form submit button full width. This is especially useful if you have a narrow column, maybe you have that, that kind of like that call to action like submit a quote, you know, get a quote for this or that or whatever right there on the home page. That's a really good use case for it or you just want it full width in general. But um, Anyway, the first thing is to add a CSS class. So we're going to do that first step. Right here you can see step number one is to add that class. Copy this, PA contact form, submit full width. Copy that and then we're going to put it right here. I'll show you that over here on the website. I have a demo website here with two contact forms. See here is kind of what I was saying, like if it's narrow, um, especially if you had the fields, if you go into the fields and make them like that. That would be a really good use case for this, right? So you already have the fields full width and you're like, well, the button looks silly as it is. So you would add the CSS class right here, the advanced tab, custom CSS ID and classes, and then right here, CSS class. All right. And I'll do it to this one as well. Now you'll notice that I also have the basic recapture here or the basic capture, I guess it's not recapture, but the basic capture is enabled. Now, normally with code snippets like this, it would get all messed up when you have that enabled, but we've created a snippet that works around that and works uh, regardless of that. All right, so I am going to exit the page, save my changes, go back to the tutorial, second step. That's all you need, two steps. We're gonna add this snippet. So go ahead and copy that snippet you can see a little bit of what it's doing. We're targeting the container of the button. We're saying width 100%, obviously. We have a flex direction column. That's that's related to the um, that captcha button, okay? And then the gap, which that's the flex uh, gap. But anyway, the padding left, and then we have margin top. I'll show you that. And then inside the container is the actual buttons, all right? So a button has a container. So first we're making the container full width, now we're making the button full width. Oh, and that 3% padding left is because actually all the fields in a contact form, in the Divi contact form, actually have that padding. So we're just matching it. All right, so here we go. I'm using this Chrome extension called User CSS. For me, I use it because I can show you live right here. So I'll paste that and you can see right away the form that had the, the captcha stacked because it's stacking in the column. In fact, let me show you something without that second, uh, without this second one here, watch this. See how it's not quite, you know, full width without that. So it's the, we're targeting then the button inside the container. And you can see that it looks very nice here, this kind of situation, if you're, like I said, putting that in like a third of a column or something like that. I, I think it looks great, it's so simple, so, there you go. It's that simple. And if you like things even simpler, it's hard to get simpler than that, but our plugin does do this. We have a setting in the Divi contact form helper. All you would need to do is go in here to the design tab, look for the submit button uh, right here. Once you enable the styles, then you have somewhere at the bottom here, make a button full width. And if you didn't do that, we actually have alignment settings. Um, it's not working because we have our, <laughs> our code, but you could literally just enable that and then you'd be done. That's the point. With our plugin, we added this setting. All right, it adds settings to the existing module. All right, all right. so I told you that'd be quick and easy. Hopefully it was. Hopefully you find that valuable. If you like our tutorials, we do this every single Tuesday here on YouTube and on our blog. So be sure you are subscribed and following along. All right, we'll see you all in the next one.